Omen. You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Elvis. You see these tiles? Once I threw the switch, they'll begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Red tiles are... Um, yellow tiles are electrifying. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you'll have to fight a monster. Your tiles are orange scented. They'll make you smell delicious. Hello, blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You'll slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Bl purple and blue are also okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? I do understand the explanation. Great! Then there's one last thing! This puzzle is entirely random! When I pull the switch, it'll make a puzzle that no one has never seen before! Not even I know the solution! Yeah! Get ready! And then he just spins off the camera. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I'd be able to laugh again, but yeah, that's so hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. <laughs> the machine isn't working. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just... I love that. Actually, the spaghetti from earlier. It wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll be able to make something edible. Oh, that's so mean. Alright, nothing else. Yep, nothing at all. This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. Okay. On the floor inside is a box of Pomeranians. I <laughs> get it because they're Pomeranians and they're raisins. No. Huh? There's a camera behind the sentry. What is with these dogs? Please pet dog. Okay. Knowing the dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. All right. That dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. It probably doesn't even help that its brain's the size of a piece of kibble. You're really mean. Like, what is your problem? You're nothing like Goat Mom. You're some weird... Bleh. Um, I didn't mean to just... Alright, um... I'm gonna fall down. If you fall off any side, then you end up falling down here. So, they made sculptures of themselves. It's a snow papyrus. Yes, you can tell. And it's a lump of snow with the word sans written on it in red marker. Um, awesome. <laughs> Just amazing, really. That's very fitting for their personalities. Um, how to do... I think I will start here. There we go. And completed. That's right, guys. I did it. And... A thing of snow. And... Another thing of snow. And... A snowbird. <laughs> I like the hidden little secrets there, that's awesome. Uh, what's down here? Oh, okay. What's up? What's up? What, what's up? What's up? Yeah, I, I guess I'll just keep saying the same thing over and over again because I have no original... What the fuck? Gift truck confronts you. So this guy has a lot of gifts already, and I'm kind of a kleptomaniac, so I'm gonna steal his gifts. You remove the barbed wire made of pipe cleaners. That's a little better. 
Ow. Gift Rat is slightly less irritated. You removed the box of non dog related raisins. That's a little better. Okay, I've never seen these patterns before. I thought uh, I thought they always went straight up. You remove a stocking filled with chicken nuggets. A weight has been lifted. Gift rot's problems have been taken away. I feel bad for this gift rot. Are you lost? Um. You sure do like exercise. Are you lost? I'm. Um, oh well. And now we check out this cave. It's a door. And if you guys remember, that's the same symbol that was both on Toriel and on Tor the door to Toriel's place. It's a door. Maybe there's a combination to get through this door? I need to figure this place out eventually. I have no idea how to open this door. I'm sure there will be a way later. Out of that, or I'm missing something. Oh well, I'll figure it out later. I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments or something. Maybe. I don't know. It's a snow puff. And this is a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Snow puff. Is it really a snow puff? Behold, a snow puff. Eh? There's 30G inside. This. What is this? It's snow puff. And this is a snow puff. This, however, is a snow puff. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Snow puff. Is it really a snow puff? Behold, a snow puff. What's this called? It's a snow puff. Alright. What a tiny doghouse. Woof. 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 Alright. Nothing else to be said. Okay. The last snow puff. Oh. Maybe not. Oh, it's a cute little doggy. So cute. Yip, yip, yip. Oh my no. It's the greater dog. Oh god, the music. Oh god, the music. Um, let's beckon it closer to us. You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flucking slobber into your face. Ow. Oh god, I'm almost dead. Greater dog is seeking affection. Uh, let's eat the ice cream. Have a wonderful day. Your HP was maxed out. Come on. Greater dog is seeking affection. I'm gonna pet it because it is adorable. Curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Z z z z z. And then it wakes up. It's so excited. Ah. Stop. Stop, doggy. Okay, then let's play because it's so excited. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog picks it up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Yep. Greater dog wants some TLC. I guess I'll pet it again. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough. Yeah, you can see how much slower we are right now. Pet capacity is at 40%. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over its, with its legs hanging in the air. Okay. Crater dog is contented. And let's spare it. You earned 40 gold. Aw. Aw, I like their face. It's so cute. And now it's piloting the armor by its butt. That's weird. I love it. Um... No, nothing to do. 
And now we just follow this. Oh, guess who it is? Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold the gauntlet of deadly terror! When I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice, every part of you, every part will swing violently up and down, even that little doggy thing! Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain! Are you ready? Because I am about to do it! Uh, well, where's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now! Did you forget it or something? Or that, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems maybe too easy to feed the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I'm a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and tra my traps are expertly cooked. But this method's too direct. No class at all. Away it goes! Whew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus! Yeah! Heh! Heh! What was that about? I don't know what my brother's going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Okay, um, alright, sure. Welcome to Snowden. Here we are, guys, the first town of the game. Use the box? Oh, we don't really have anything we need to get out of it. I'm fine with my stick as my weapon, which, by the way, I don't think I've shown, but... For level 1 Bisquick, HP 20 of 20, attack 0, defense 0, experience 0, next at 10. Weapon is a stick, armor is bandage, gold is 283. Uh, let's try to call Toriel since we're thinking about it. Nobody picked up, sadly. Yeah, stick is the best weapon. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Um... Hmm... A <laughs> manly bandana. You can, you can get... Okay. Heals 11 HP twice, or 22 HP at once. I don't have 22 HP, so I think I'd rather have the bicycle. Let's talk to this person. Say hello. Hiya, welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? Want to know what to do here in Snowden? Grillby's has food and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. If there's two of them, brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and <laughs> asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Alright. Uh, let's go to town history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head to the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp here in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door has been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic. But we all know deep down that there's freedom in coming, don't we? As long as we get that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's a life, ain't it? Hiya, welcome to Snowden. Okay, same thing, yep. Bye now, come again sometime. Alright, that was the shop, and they have some useful items there. If you're a fighter, you can get some good stuff there, but... I'm going to hold off, I think. Uh... Actually, I think I will... Here. While I'm here, I'll grab a manly bandana. It's an odd item, but I want it, so I'm getting it. I'll keep it for a little bit later. Alright. Aw. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. 
What's maximum HP? I have no idea. Welcome to Snowed Inn, Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80G. Trust me, it's worth doing. Here's your room key. Make sure to bundle up. Yeah, we're not doing this. No, I, I give up. I give up. Hiya, you look like you had a great sleep, which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're actually going to stay the night. Can't go up there otherwise. Can I go back? No, I can't. Okay. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. That lady over there, something about her disturbs me. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable, tee hee. Bun 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 bun. Alright. I think I figured it out. No, never mind. I To me what's disturbing is the fact that she has a smaller version of them on a leash. That's weird. Also, she seems kind of psychotic. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. I know what monster they're talking about. Guess it was a good thing those teens tormented that monster. Wow, that's a bad way to look at it. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. Alright. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. I wonder if that weird skeleton is an adult or a kid. Huh. I don't know. This town doesn't have a mayor, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. 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 Over and over again, you just talk about politics! What is wrong with these people? You better watch where you sit down in here, kid. Because that big guy will jump in your lap and give you lots of love and attention. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. What? I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Kinky! It's playing a poker against itself. It appears to be losing. I put it out I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. What the f Okay, those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder why all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. I want to be like Undyne when I grow up, too. <laughs> I guess I could ask scout Undyne, but I think she likes someone already. Yeah, appears to be losing anything else, any of you want to say? Okay, nope. How about you guys over here? The capital is getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving out here. Hmm. I don't want to see the eraser of our local culture, but I definitely want to see some city slickers slip on their butts. Yeah, bring them on. The jukebox is broken. Where's the music coming from, then? Oh, well. Huh. Isn't food, human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil, and when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. And I've heard they have things called bathrooms. What? No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and <laughs> hot guys. I guess the bartender's kind of ha <laughs> hot. Well, literally, yes. Ellipses, ellipses, ellipses. Grillbees said he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Alright. Well, I'm out of here. 
Everyone's always laughing, cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. At least I'm not making puns. I don't know what you're talking about. Puns are great. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Smile, smile. Okay, let's check out the library. Wait. Library. Right. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know, the sign is misspelled. Okay. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Well, that's probably a good thing, actually. <coughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Okay. How about you? That look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? No, I'm perfectly fine. Don't know what you're talking about. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need to have th these things to exist. Monster History Part 4. Fearing the, 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 the we're not going to read this yet, we're going to start left. It's school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on the person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at that page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans with their physical forms are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. What? Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. What? Okay. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck the desire with the desire to kill, um, let's just end the chapter there. Monster History Part 4. Okay, I guess there aren't any more history books in here. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city home. We braved harsh, cold, damp, swamp land and searing heat until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Awesome. Actually, while I'm here... Can't, can't do anything with those. That's too bad. Anything left to do here? Oh. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside. It's empty. Ah, uh, he never gets any mail and he never checks his mail because he's too lazy. It's locked. Ah, I wish we could go in their house. It's locked from the inside. Ooh. That makes me think that we might be able to go in there at some point. But we're not going to be leaving here yet. Instead, I'm going to head left. All the way up here. Let's play Monsters and Humans. Is that like Cowboys and Indians? I think that's supposed to be a Cowboys and Indians joke. Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. You aren't going to make me the human again, are you? Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, oh, my patience rewards me. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's weird. Really, really weird. Oh, this was the noise I was hearing before. Huh. Cool. Oh! Ring, ring. Hello, can I speak to G... Wait a second. 
Is this the wrong number? Oh, it's the wrong number! The wrong number song! We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong! Oh, it's the wrong number! The wrong number song! We're very, very sorry that we got it wrong! That just happened. Also, it said G. And I don't know anyone with the name G except for me, Gabe. Oh, well, Blue, I mean, my name's Blue, right? <laughs> no, but seriously, my, my name's Gabe. I've said this in videos before, and that's, uh... I wonder, is that actually a thing, or... I don't know. So, guys, I'm gonna pop through this here. Actually, I think for the... Before I forget, I'm gonna equip the manly bandana. You equip the manly bandana. If you check your stats, you now have seven defense. That is amazing. But next time on Let's Play Undertale, we are going to be moving on in Snowden. We're gonna be, we're actually done here. We're gonna be moving on in the underground past Snowden. We can't go north, so all we can do is go east from here. So guys, see you guys next time.